Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode by Redoculus Gaming. I am Vitster, and be sure to visit our website at redoculusgaming.com for more Nintendo Switch news. If you like this video, please click that subscribe button, and all information can be found in the description below. So welcome to a new episode of Redonkulous Rambles. And Donk had done one of these previously, and he talked kind of about the five uh, games that he'd like to see come over on the Switch and get ported. Uh, today is going to be a little different. I'm going to kind of talk about something that's gone, kind of been always been talked about in the past, and that was kind of the difficulty of games, the challenges of games, and things like that. Uh, it's kind of a, it's always been a kind of a touchy subject, and I kind of look at it more from a different viewpoint. In that, I, when I first started playing games, obviously that was way back in the '80s, you know, on the Nintendo, on the Atari 2600, the Apple IIe, way back, way then. Didn't quite hit the Commodore 64, but that kind of dates me right there games were they were challenging you could go through a mega man game and you could go through dragon quest and it was kind of pretty tough there were plenty of deaths there are plenty of times i threw the controller and one of the big differences i did notice about the gameplay during that time was you know, i was a kid outside of school i had from 3 p.m all the way till bedtime to play games after i finished my homework that could be anywhere from four hours to six hours depending on how fast i got it done and i've noticed as i've gotten older that time commitment has become harder jobs with family kids you know all sorts of stuff fortunately i'm single and without kids so i don't have to worry about that but as i see friends that go through this a good example of this is world of warcraft a lot of when i started i was already working but i have a lot of friends that when they started the game, they were in college. So between classes, they could get as much time in as they want, you know. So between drinking classes and WoW, that was their life. So they, they were able to play the game nonstop. We could be up till 3 a.m. running five-man dungeons and, and doing crazy things and spending five days a week doing 40-man raids. Uh, but as that a generation has grown older, that's kind of changed. Again, people have gotten families, people have gotten jobs, and people have gotten all these other commitments in their lives that really impact the ability to play the game. And I think Blizzard is a great example of this, especially in World of Warcraft, where they made that effort and they made that realization, as I think as they grew up with the game as well, that people just didn't have that time to sit in general chat in Ironforge or in Orgrimmar and bam trade for like two hours just to get a five-man group together just to do scolo or strath or even a 10-man group to do ubers it's just kind of one of those unique dynamic changes that occurred over time and they made those alterations adding looking for group looking for raid adding kind of really changing the dynamic of the game to really meet that kind of transformation of the generation as it grew up through the decades of game design and i think you know as you look at all the other gamers too and we consider this they've done the same thing whether it's and you get this a lot where people complain that the games are too easy or you see that gamers and you know developers they set up modes where you have easy mode normal mode hard mode and hard hardcore mode and it, it is allowed to allow that kind of differentiation of people's times to put into it sometimes i might just have a half an hour to put into a game before i have to get going somewhere or i have an appointment or i have to get out to dinner with some friends or i have to get to work or maybe i only have half an hour on the train ride into work before and then i can play there and then get into work and get to it and then half an hour back and then got to cook dinner got to do all that stuff so our time commitments have changed and our, our what we can really put into the game has changed a lot and i think game developers understood that and i think when we talk about the difficulty level we have to take that into account that the 30 or 40 year old us that used to play those games on those harder games as a 20 year old don't have that luxury of time anymore to sit there and master the nuances of level run it through like 500 times just to get the timing perfect we don't have that i mean to be honest does anybody really want to go back to this the uh battle toad you know hoverboard level personally i don't care less for seeing that level again so there are sometimes i do like a challenge there are sometimes i'm in an fps if i'm playing single player mode kind of don't want to just run right through the levels i kind of want to be able to work at it patience is different like for me i'm a big stealth game guy so i'd like to take that time and see patterns and see the movements and kind of get to that well i think as i would just say take that into account as you guys start looking at game difficulty and you start looking at the challenges that games bring to the table and the challenges that developers face in order to meet it because there's a wide range of us it is not like in the 80s or you know late 80s early 90s where gaming was kind of like it's for the subset of people and it wasn't everybody but now it's just so prevalent and there's everybody that plays it it's it's almost like like uh eating food everybody has their own flavor 
flavor. Everybody has their own thing they like. And not it's going to be hard for a restaurant to cater to people and especially to cater to every single person in the world. And it's going to be the same way for game developers as well. So that's why when you see at least the reviews that I put out on Redoculus Gaming, I kind of try to divide up kind of that scoring system to go through the story and talk about the story because there are some games that just have amazing story. Then go into the gameplay and talk about the gameplay because while a game might have an amazing story or an exciting story, the gameplay just really lacks or it's just so stupendous it really ties it all together. And that's kind of why I do that breakdown because there's a lot of things that people want to look out for. There's some people that again, they have the patience to go through the point and click adventure games and sit there and try every single option and opportunity but there are some. Honestly, they might only have time to do a quick overwatch match it's like okay i need to get i have 10 minutes to go through a hearthstone match or here's the storm or dota some people that they're professionals right um and they're they have the time they have the commitment to it to be successful and be to be to really win in that professional environment but the reality is majority of us are never at that level we are the casual gamer we get maybe two hours if we're lucky in redox case he might be lucky to get 20 minutes before his kids you know start screaming and it's time to change them again because as you know he just had twins so like i say let's keep that in mind as we move forward and the difficulty and the challenges that developers face in that and we do really try to look at that as a consideration at redonkulous gaming because difficulty does play a role you don't want a game that you can just steamroll through but likewise i just feel that majority of players these days don't really have the time or energy to sit down 24 7 and just play the game and go for that perfectionist i mean i, I used to be a big assassin's creed guy I go for every single quest, try to get 100% synchronization. But as the new uh, additions came out, like Assassin's Creed Origins and Assassin's Creed Revelations and all those, as they started coming out, there are points I'm just like, it's not worth that effort anymore. Just there's, It's just that time commitment's not there to really focus in on that 100%. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video, this commentary, and this kind of editorial that I'm throwing out there. It's one of those new things that we're kind of trying to look out and try to do. If you do, let us know. And definitely throw us comments. Let us know what you think about the video. Let us know what if you agree with my, my viewpoint. If you disagree, we'd love to hear that too. We'd really like to engage the community with this. And we'd like to understand what, what are you guys looking for? And maybe as we move forward in developing this channel we can decide where to go with it all right so thanks everybody